What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Zabra. Hello. What up, bra? What up? So, carrying on from The Incredible Hulk, we are doing this in the complete correct order yep. of how things should be, and we're going to be watching The Hulk, the 2003 movie starring Eric Banana. Huh? Banana. Just kidding, Banana. And Jennifer Connelly, I believe. And it's directed by the legendary Ang Lee. Don't make him Ang Lee. You're going to be watching a cut down of this. If you want to watch the entire thing along with us, you can do that on our Patreon, patreon.com slash or by becoming a member right here on the channel. You will need to get your own copy of the movie, though. We're watching this through a rental on Amazon. Uh, you know, wherever you find one, that's the one you may want to use. And uh, you line it up with us and we make it really easy for you to sync with a three, two, one countdown. And then boom, it's like you're watching it with your two internet besties. That's us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. And if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications on and upvote this video if you're enjoying what you're watching. All right. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm really excited. Do starfish, starfish regenerate? I didn't know that. Regeneration is immortality. Yeah, it is. I feel kind of bad for it. Me too. Like, what did it do to you? Mad scientist, man. Oh, at least the monkey's getting pet. Oh no. <laughs> too soon. Why do I have hope? Only for it to be it's taken simply away. simply no way to shield against every weaponized agent. Instead, I can make super immune systems by strengthening the human cellular response. Banner. Manipulating the immune system is dangerous and stupid. No human subjects. Oh, that's Banner in this? I'm very confused. Or maybe that's his dad. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, because that, that was the 60s. Yeah, I'm like, wait. I'm going to have a baby. It's going to be called Bruce. <laughs> that's such a weird shot. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be like an eight, uh, 60s yeah. style. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Mad creepy vibes, my guy. Yeah. Did he just go kind of green? Is he giving him something? Oh, cause he, he injected yeah. himself. Must have passed it on or something. Hey, mm, delicious eyeballs. Oh, you're big and green. You're scary. I'm gonna run away. What in the? What are you doing? Oh, okay. He's testing his blood. I'm sure he's still a nice guy. I know. That's true. That's true. <laughs> he's like, I'm sure he doesn't want to hurt his child. Yeah. The samples we found in your lab, they were human blood. You had no right snooping around in my lab. <laughs> Uh oh. Attention, all personnel. Fail safe has been initiated. Gamma decontamination will occur in 30 minutes. Evacuate immediately. What? Edith. David, what's going on? I'm to you, Edith. Bruce, stay here. I think he's finally telling her everything. Yeah. This is so confusing to me because this is not how I thought the backstory was. Yeah. It's like they've just completely changed it. No, 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 no. Oh. What the heck? Come on. Look at you. Soon to be a great scientist. There's something inside you. So special. Some kind of greatness, I'm sure. Someday you're gonna share it with the whole world. That's a good looking face. Oh. Oh, wow. Healthy. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard bike, right? Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. Security. Dang. He's still like super buff. Hey, Fanny. Betty, hey. I hate them. Who do we hate? The review board. We have to make a presentation on Tuesday. And you're going to make it with me. Start talking about microbes and nanomats. You sound almost passionate. Oh, hmm. That was rude. Look, nobody expects this to be easy. Us working together after being so close. It's not your fault, really. 
Just a byproduct of my inexplicable obsession with emotionally distant men. That's such a strange... A little frog. Yeah. <laughs> the, the edits are interesting. Yeah. Harper, ready when you are. Let's hit it. Nanomeds replicating cells on water. Oh, cool. Oh. Cell copy to disassemble ratio holding within 1%. His excitement. A single <laughs> fist. Oh no, what's that? Imbalanced nanomed activity. That looks oh. similar to the starfish. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Poor guy, RIP. Tell me about your dream. It starts with a memory. I think it's my first memory. It's this image I have. So her dad was the one that got mad at his dad? I think so. Was it? Or were they just both military? No, I think it's something that happened when I was living out at Desert Base with my father. Yeah. But his dad definitely caused that. It's kind of trippy. What? Hey there. Oh. What's your name, darling? Hey, what's your name? Ah! I was afraid of that. Always greet new dogs with closed fists, y'all. Oh, is that what you're supposed to yeah. do? Yeah. Because the bite won't be as bad if it happens. Oh, good tip. Aww. Okay. Are you being followed around by that crazy dog? What in there's three dogs? <laughs> uh... Ah Lock your doors. I didn't know this was a horror movie. Jeez. <laughs> there was so much exposition. Yeah. Also, I, I'm just gonna say this now and I might be wrong, but I suspect that that might be his dad. Oh, what? That'd be crazy. Uh, that might be like a very left field yeah. stupid theory, but I'm like, we didn't yeah, see, actually see his body. Facts. You need no marble. Oh yeah, that looks like him, right? Bruce. I don't know. Bruce. Okay. Maybe, maybe. My Bruce. There we go. Yeah. You're right. Come on, Achara. So what happened to mommy? I don't know, this guy went mad. Morning. Glenn drop by. What's he doing here? You know, Dr. Krenzler, you and I have never had the chance to get to know each other properly. <laughs> GTFO. Period. GI is embedded with technology that makes them instantly repairable on the battlefield. Well, it's not what we're doing here. You know, someday I'm going to write a book. And I'm going to call it When Stupid Ideals Happen to Smart, Penniless Scientists. In the meantime, Bruce, you will be hearing from me. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Get out of there, buddy. Get 
Oh. Are the memories coming back? I don't understand how this is possible. You should be dead. I mean, I feel great. I feel like, I don't know, they must have, like, fixed me. Bruce, they've killed everything else that they've come into contact with. You were going to die, and I was going to have to watch you die. Hey, I'm not going to explode, okay? <laughs> hmm. What the heck? So are we going with the theory of like the Hulk and Bruce are two different people mm. living in the same body? My name is not Grenzler. It's Banner. What? Your name. It's Banner. Bruce Banner. How'd you get in here? I work here now. In the labs. The late shift. Is that Nick Nolte? Yeah. There's something you need to know about her, Bruce. Something troublesome. Let me protect you from her. Get out. Bruce. Get out! Sit. I thought he was gonna turn, for sure. We're gonna have to watch that temper of yours. Oh. Hey, what? He just expects to come in there after 30 years and be like, you better trust me. Drop the bombs and then. Yeah. I just think that they're planning something with the lab. So, um. <sighs> call me, okay? Bye. Ready? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just snooping, observing, taking notes. The fist. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I gotta talk to you, Edith. Oh, now he's gonna get mad. He's like, I remember. Whoa. Yeah, what did he do to his mom? Yeah. I really have no business asking. He said you talked to him. Okay. Please, no. Just let the man talk. And a very beautiful woman like you, your attentions can't be completely unwanted. No. Mm hmm Not with eyes. What in the... He's super creepy. Your lab has been declared a top secret military site, and you're not going to get a security clearance to get back into it. If you ever come within a thousand yards of my daughter again, I'll put you away for the rest of your natural life. Mm. Don't make him angry. Oh, the dogs? The dogs. No. Okay. Go get her! There's nothing standing in your way! What? Are they Hulk dogs? I got a visit today. A very unwelcome visit. I'm afraid my hand is being forced. If they'd only let me work in peace, of course my betters would have none of that. So you experimented on yourself, didn't you? And passed on to me. And now, finally unleashed. I can harvest it. I will isolate it and treat it myself. 
I'll remove it and I'll kill it before it does any real harm. Well, I bet you and your Betty would love to destroy it. But would you really destroy part of yourself? I don't think so. And as for Betty, I'm sending her a surprise visit from some four-legged friends of mine. You see, I've managed to culture some of your very own DNA, Bruce. They're unstable, but very powerful. Weird. Oh, I want to talk to you. Listen to me. My father's going after Betty. What makes you think you can go behind my back and get Ross to cut me out, huh? Listen to me. Betty's in trouble. You're making me angry. Oh, am I? Whoa. I hope your home insurance covers Hulk Smash. Oh gosh. She lives in a cabin. <sighs> Betty really wanted nothing to do with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> She's like out there in the middle of nowhere, yeah. all by herself, a single woman. Oh. <gasps> oh, she's pretty chill, all things considered. Whoa. I love that the poodle's super feisty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like poof. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, what the heck? <laughs> Who is this girl? <laughs> Bring honor to your family. That's right. I need your help. What? Where are you? Are you kidding? Yeah, why? Well, she, I guess she doesn't know. Uh-oh. Well, now he's gonna get angry. Betrayal! Oh! Ah! It's okay, I got you. I'm sorry. Ew, girl. It's just to make you sleep. You're lame. Target down. Target secure. I'm gonna take you someplace safe. Okay. Bruce. Ew. Betty, you suck. Ugh. I'm gonna try no and give her the benefit of the doubt for now. No. I'm off you, Betty. Flown across who knows where. He saved you and you're like, I'm scared. Well, I mean, I wondered about that. Like, what would it be like? to live with someone like that who if you triggered their anger then they could turn into this like raging hulk that'd yeah. be pretty scary to be fair yeah but you're gonna call someone you don't trust at all how long are you gonna keep him sedated for the rest of his natural life if i have to you said i could trust you yeah of you course you mistake. can't you stupid why is he such a threat to you because i know what he comes from he is his father's son. But I'm a scientist. As a scientist, I believe we can figure this out and he can be helped. I know you do. Yeah, you called the military. Oh, he's going to experiment on himself again? Oh. 
Ooh. Oh. How's that working out for you? What? Like a lizard? Oh. Oh. It thinks the nanomeds think that he's metal? Yeah, I know. I'd be, I'd be mad Ugh. at her. But he's probably like under the influence of so many tranquilizers or something. Oh no, he's not. He's just walking around. Okay. What's behind the door? Okay, Betty. What do you want to know? So annoying. <laughs> what are you afraid I'll see? He doesn't know. What do you want? See, I need your cells to trigger some chemical distress signals. I'm not sure you've got much of a choice. <laughs> Come on, aren't you feeling a little angry? He's crazy. Don't you, I'm going back to Berkeley. You're lying. You know, for me, this is a win-win situation. You turn green and all these guys come in and kill you and I perform the autopsy. Like, why would they let him in? Yeah. Come on, Bruce. Let's see what you got. There. He's doing pretty well for being in all that. Welcome back. There are two guards right outside. You don't have to worry. And soon it'll be over for Bruce. That's why I've come to you, to ask you that if I turn myself in now, peacefully, I knew I was doing a father's work, fulfilling a father's mercy. But then she surprised me. I took everything that was dear to me and transformed it. He was gonna kill him? Yeah. In a memory. Why did she run out? No, there's so many choices that are. Uh, yeah. Negative on drill penetration. Damn it, drill him harder. Give me full RPMs. Come on, homie. Ooh. Oh, he's getting really big. Should I neutralize him? No, I can't do anything with you. Come on. General, I'll let you know if we need you. Unacceptable. I'll unseat your asses down there immediately. I want a full court evacuation now. I'm shutting you down. Lock down. Didn't you hear what the general said? I said lock down! Oh, he's crazy. There! I need a sample of him! Alright, come on. Let's take it easy, everybody. This might give you a bit of a sting here, Bruce. So. <laughs> An eyeball? I mean, I guess it's soft. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? So weird. What? They just PNG'd him? <laughs> Show him the way out. Fight him outside. Yeah, he's like, this is already billions of dollars. Yeah. Go this way. Go 
way. Oh, wow. He can run. Wow. Wow, he got hurt. I have some bad news, sir. Well, let's have it, General. I briefed the president on Angry Man. I assume that's what Angry this is Man. About. It is, ma'am. I'm requesting a national command authority override. Angry Man is unsecure. Y'all are lucky he's letting you down easy. <laughs> yeah. Our tank's busted up, but we're okay. Yeah, because he let you be okay. Angle one, you have eyes on the target. Angle one, I have him in the rocks. Sell the wall. Turn it into a parking lot. Oh my wow. God. I was just thinking how beautiful it is. Of course you were, because you're a normal human. <laughs> Betty, Bruce got out. He's headed your way, probably right for you. How far from the base are you? Because you guys have so much chemistry. <laughs> I'm passing flight level 600. It's out of my envelope. Ugh. Hang in there, legend. I can't maintain. He's all over my aerodynamics. You'll lose consciousness before you. Oh. Whoa. Oh, he's freezing. I can't hold it. I'm pulling back. Oh. oh shit. Very interesting. That was uh, fortuitous. Dad? Ready? We don't have a choice. I have to destroy him. But you can't. You will only fuel his rage. Yes. Oh, jeez. Wow, he's got really keen eyesight. Aww. He just wants a cuddle from a pretty lady. The Wicked Witch of the West, or something, mm -hmm. just like melting. Doesn't Nick Nolte in this movie look like, um, what's his name, the actor in Moon Knight, the villain? Yes. Right? Yes. Don't they look exactly alike right now? They look very similar. And I, I talking about Moon Knight, I was also thinking about the whole like split personality thing, mm -hmm. which they're mm -hmm. kind of doing here as well. Maybe once you were my father, but you're not now and you never will be. <laughs> Is that so? I didn't come here to see you. I came here to see my son. Oh my God. Oh God. Nothing but a superficial shell, a husk of flimsy consciousness, ready to be torn off at a moment's notice. All right, you suck. My cells can transform too. 
absorb enormous amounts of energy. But unlike you, they're unstable. I gave you life. Now you must give it back to no. me. Of the kind that walked the earth long before the pale religions of civilization infected humanity. Why is no one running in to like take him away? He's clearly aggravating yeah. this man. I'll go. What the heck? You just watch me go. Hit it. Hit it again. Uh, we can't, sir. There's no power. Some kind of counter electromagnetic field. Oh, shit. Sir, I've located them on radar. Hair Lake. Call up the task force. Yes. Oh. How do you defeat a thing that like absorbs your energy? Yeah. So weird. Very weird. <laughs> this has gone to places I didn't think it was gonna go. <laughs> yeah. But where did his dad go? He took all the power and then what? Okay. Oh all right. My. One year later. <laughs> We've come this far. I need answers. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Betty, is that you? I'm glad you called. Oh, we're close now? Well, we both know that Bruce couldn't survive that blast. If by some chance he did survive, he should try to contact you. you know, try to get in touch. Tell me, wouldn't you? Uh, no. No. I wouldn't. But you know as well as I do, I wouldn't have to. I mean, my phones are bugged, my computer's tapped, I'm under surveillance. I'll tell you, though, that if you were alive, I'm the last person I would want him to come to because I loved him. I, uh... Okay, girl. Estamos las medicinas para la gente que vive aquí. ¿Quién eres tú para decidir lo que necesita esta gente? Estas personas están ayudando a nuestros enemigos. Posiblemente. Yeah. Tú también. Coge eso. Es ya propiedad del gobierno. Me está enojando. No le gustaría verme. <laughs> Is there a post credit scene? Oh my goodness, you guys. What? How how did that how did it wrap up like that? I'm so confused. Yeah. Maybe they were just like, you know what? We'll just have it where it, the dad, maybe he could come back as yeah. like another bad guy in a yeah. future movie, but then they were like, "Oh, never mind. That's fine. We'll just 
wrap this one up yeah, and we'll put it away. Present, pretend he was absorbed by the universe. Yeah. All right. So coming off of having watched The Incredible Hulk very recently to then watching this, how was that for you? I mean, you can definitely tell which one came first, right? This yeah. This is like the very early inception. I know we had Blade and other things before, but this is clearly the earlier inception of what comic book movies could possibly be. Right, yeah. And there was definitely good in it. There was a lot I didn't like, which is like hard for me to not like things. Yeah. Because, you know, they had great writers and incredible, one of my favorite directors. Yeah. And there were so many, not loose ends, but kind of forced outcomes and things that that had to happen so this had to happen and it didn't seem like as true to character yeah it seemed very strange and like you i'm like oh i normally like ang lee but for this i'm like was he really a good choice for this movie i'm not sure definitely choices were made the weird split screen stuff i found it really distracting very distracting especially when they were doing shots where they would show one angle of the person and then flip it and show the other angle in a different split screen. Yeah, like, like kind of like that early Lord of the Rings, like, you know, when they were like talking to each other. The yeah. Elves. Yeah. What are you trying to show me here? Because I'm very confused and now I'm wondering about the editing and the movie making rather than like the story yeah, and the yeah. characters. Very weird choices visually. They clearly wanted to make a choice and talk about generational trauma, dads and their yeah. kids, parents yeah. and their kids, science first military yeah when science is pursued too far and i appreciate that i think that that's cool i really do like that but it was done in a way that i just don't think was executed well i absolutely agree they really wanted to go for the big themes like the really classic themes the one that came to mind was when man overreaches and tries to mm -hmm. be god kind of like in mary shelley's frankenstein that was one of the themes that was explored there and like you say about like the dad and the generational trauma and like oh is it nature is it nurture is it genetics predestiny it had that kind of like greek tragedy feel where it's like oh because of his genetics he was always destined to be this and it's all very interesting stuff but it just didn't land in the execution because i i was just like wow this movie's really long and really i really long i don't feel very emotionally connected to these characters at all not a single one. I love Hulk as a character. Yeah. I think it's, a, like, it's interesting when you have the choice to like like you made the point like oh so they're going into the trauma based emotion and that's what triggers his anger and that's what triggers his transformation I like the creativeness of yeah. you know how does Hulk transform what part of Bruce is in the Hulk and what part is separate I did like the unique take on it but it was like not one character am I attached to in the slightest and then Betty just this is like clearly early 2000s when we wrote co-lead women characters as like complete damsels in distress with right. no agency or yeah. personality. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean, there are definitely a lot of things that are very symptomatic of its time. Especially now when we're watching it and we've seen shows and movies tackle things like mental illness, emotional trauma really well, like in Moon Knight or in One Division. Mm -hmm. We feel for these characters and I wanted to feel for Hulk at the end when he has that kind of moment, that realization of like, oh my God, I had this whole life and I didn't remember my parents and like I remembered the smell of my mom like I wanted to feel all of that but it didn't land at no, all. him as a character as well had zero agency. I'm like, you're not advocating for yourself. You're not even saying what's happening. It's one of those moments where I hate as a viewer when I'm like, why aren't you saying this? Like, yeah. why don't you tell them that? To me, that's like, when I think like that, it means I'm just not getting what I need out of the writing. Yeah. I mean, he's a very different Bruce Banner, I think, than the Bruce Banner that we're used to now. You know, like yeah. the Bruce Banner that we know would be like, I need to figure out a cure for myself. Yeah. Whereas this Bruce Banner was kind of like just being taken around by the army and being locked up and all of that. Had crazy vision and was like, there's my Betty. <laughs> 
That's... Very strange. Very strange movie. Uh, and I love all the actors. Yeah. I mean, Nick Nolte was the best part of the... He was the one character I thought that actually had motive that he made and, like, emotion. Yeah. I mean, he was definitely wild and crazy yeah, yeah, and interesting to watch. Yeah. And like you said, all of these actors were acting their butts off. They're all good actors. But it's just like... What a ride. What a ride. It was interesting. <laughs> it was unique. Some moments were fun. Still better than She-Hulk. Uh, oh! No! Javi! Shots fired! I'm going to turn into the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I love to see where the Hulk has transformed as a character. Yeah. <laughs> he's come this, a long way. This wasn't it for me, fam. No. <laughs> it's not it for me, fam. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, yeah, let us know what you thought having watched this again. I'm glad I watched it. Yeah, it's good to know. You know, sometimes we need to know where we went wrong in yeah. order to improve. There were still some some interesting parts. I do wish that they had explored more of the like psychological aspect yeah. in a way that was more interesting because it felt a little bit boring. Onwards and upwards, everyone. It can only get better, right? Yeah. <laughs> Right? <laughs> all right. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and click that bell icon, all notifications on, and upvote this video if you enjoyed what you watched or if you enjoyed our reaction. Yeah. Come join us on Patreon and whatnot. That part. We'll see you next time. I'm Achara Cook. This is... Steps Rob. Ciao.